felt like it was a very good win for us tonight against the SEC opponent. Uh, really what stood out to me is our defense played outstanding. Um, I think we held them 3 of 17 on third downs, had uh, two turnovers. Uh, really our goal was to put pressure on the quarterback, and I feel like we disrupted the quarterback. Special teams, one of the better special teams uh, performances we've had in a while. Uh, just did a super job. I think we either blocked one or two punts. I think we got a hand on that other one. Uh, you know, we returned a kickoff uh, you know, for a touchdown, and that, that was really big. And then Ryan Davis, I mean, he was uh, very impressive on his punt returns, had some good blocks and everything that went with it. And then offensively, uh, obviously we didn't play our best, but we didn't turn the ball over. And that was really what we talked about. If we don't turn the ball over and we get after the quarterback, then we, we felt like we liked our chances. But overall, it's a good win. Um, it's good to get back in the, the, the win call. Questions? Yes, through four games at this point, what do you think your offense's identity is? And, and are we didn't, we, we didn't play out? good tonight. Uh, there's no doubt about that. I mean, we've got to be able to we've got to be able to to run the football better. Uh, you know, we missed a shot or two, but uh, that's part of it. You know, every every game unfolds differently. And uh, you know, like I said, we didn't play our best offensively, but uh, you know, tonight didn't have to. What did you think of your offensive line having to put Nick out there? I mean, Jared was sacked four times. There were some yeah. negative plays. You, you know, I, I, we'll have to look at the film exactly as far as Nick's concerned and all that. You know, I just know the snaps were good and it looked like the communication was good up front. Um, you know, I'll have to watch the film to give you a better assessment. Yes, were you surprised, though, that some, they've been pretty good in pass protection for much of the year, yeah. and, and tonight they, they didn't do Yeah, we didn't do, didn't do a very good job in pass protection, and we didn't do a great job running. But, you know, I'm not going to just sit here and say all offensive line. I'm the type that really likes to look at the overall picture and, you know, dissect everything and have a better, better feel for it. I mean, you got to give credit to Arkansas and their defense. I think they had a good plan, and I think they uh, did a good job executing that. Are you concerned with – how inefficient the run game has been. Before. Well, I mean, how, I've been how, saying for four weeks we got to run the football better. So, you know, and that's just part of it. And I really feel like before it's all said and done, we will. But that needs to be quicker, you know, sooner rather than later. You guys, is that a speed sweep thing you try to incorporate, or how do you try to think your well, way? Well, you, you try to incorporate any any way you can to run the football. But at the end of the day, you know, and, and I'm gonna say this too. I mean, anytime you have a new center, okay, there, that there's a new guy in there, and and. Nick, I thought, did a, a good job just for, as far as just looking right now with the eye before I looked at the, the film. But, you know, anytime you got a new center, it, it may take just a little bit. But uh, if that group stays healthy, uh, we, we will continue to get better. What did Nick show you to earn that starting job, guys? Uh, you know, just in practice. Uh, you know, he's came on and we felt, you know, he's been close. You know, he wasn't healthy and probably until about three, four weeks ago. So it was just a matter of giving him reps with the ones. We did that the last two weeks and just felt like that he was ready to take over. That position, and you know, and uh, so it was his first start, first start against an SEC opponent. What is it about Jordan Peters that's made him so effective on that pump block unit? Obviously, he had one against Alabama. Yeah, State. you know, I think he does a good job. I, I think our, our, uh, our special teams coaches did a good job with the scheme. They they saw something was there, and you know, that one kind of went underneath uh, went underneath his arms and all that. But then I think we got uh, a hand on the other one, and I guess Deshaun picked it up. Uh, there was a lot of crazy plays and. That thing, you know, as far as the, the interception that went down to the end and got a block in the back, and then you know, got a field goal attempt right before the, the half. There was a lot of crazy things happening. How big of a jolt did that kickoff return for a touchdown give you guys? Instead? Yeah, oh yeah, I just you know after that it was kind of a you know you could uh, breathe a little easier and, and play football and, and all that. But Noah's a dynamic guy. I think y'all saw that last year, and you know the more opportunities he gets, you know he has a chance to bring it back and there were some really good blocks on that, that play too. Did you notice anything different on that touchdown drive y'all had laid? Something maybe you were doing differently up front or just started clicking? No, I, th I think their ends were squeezing and I think uh, just, I think we had a couple buck sweeps right there. What was yeah. your general thought of Jarrett's night in general? I know he was getting chased a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he was under pressure, you know, and uh, we got we to gotta protect him better. There's no doubt about that. Is, is Jarrett holding the ball too long at times? Well, it just depends. It just depends on you know, who's open. It depends on the check down. Every play is different. Did you want to take more shots deep, or were you kind of screening them because that's the way you get the yeah, ball out? you know, we, we called, we called uh, I think, four or five sometimes. You know, uh, you know, I think it was the one time they corner catted us, and they got it, and we missed a, a corner cat blitz pickup. Uh, and then we you know, had a couple that we took, and we're close, and I think just, uh, the one was an overthrow, and one was a little bit behind. 
you talk about the, the decision there on fourth and goal at the one? Did yeah, kick yeah, that, that's, uh, you know, you go four and fourth and one, you need to get it. And that's two weeks in a row we didn't get it. So, uh, you know, that's my responsibility. If you call it, you need to get it. So, we didn't get it. I was talking more about settling for the field goal. Which you guys one? were down to one after you guys had the fumble. Yeah, I thought you were talking about the one we didn't get. No, no. Well, maybe it had something to do with the first one. You know how it goes, <laughs> like thinking wise. Like, so that's what was going to let that happen again. We'll kick it from the one. So that's how that thinking went. But you said you wanted to be really aggressive this year, right? Yeah, I was. And we didn't get it. You got to be smart, too. Does it mean you're going to be less aggressive now? <laughs> I don't know. I need to be smart. So, <laughs> yeah, be smart. That's I'm the most trading, important yes. thing. Because how frustrating is that after the defense kick all the ball to the pass? Yeah, yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, there's no doubt. That, that there's some frustration in that one. Uh, you're, you are correct. I think but we, all, the, we all felt that. At the end of the day, you get that taste, the LSU taste out of your right. mouth, and the offense not great, but you, you get a win. Yeah, I mean, you, you get a win. And I think that's the, the number one thing that if you're standing up here, that's the number one thing that's the most important. we got a good football team. I think everybody can see we played two top ten teams. Uh, we beat one. Uh, you know, we got beat on the last play of the game against another. So we got a good football team. We got we got some things that we have to uh, improve on. I think everybody sees that. We understand that. But uh, we are, we are a, you know you look at the offense. That's a, a pretty inexperienced group, pretty inexperienced running backs. So uh, you know, we'll continue to improve. Yes, the, the opportunistic side of things, the kickoff return, punt blocks, the, the turnovers. Yeah. How big can that be moving forward? It, it's huge. It, it's huge because special teams, anytime you've got the two returners that we have, that puts a lot of pressure on. And, and you know, uh, we've done a good job covering kicks too. You know, our punter, uh, Aaron, has done a super job flipping the field. I mean, he kicked two or three kicks that were just outstanding. What did you notice out of both uh, uh, Booby and Cam and I? You seem to rotate them a lot more than last week. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, you know, we, we usually have two guys, and you know, that, that was our two guys tonight. They protect the football. That's the most important thing. You like the way Whitlow finished the game for you on that 72-yard drive? Yeah, that, that was good. That was good. How much of a relief has it been to see the special teams come up with these plays after having a lot of struggles in that phase of the game last year? Yeah, you know, I think special teams are starting to become a strength, and uh, you know, we worked extremely hard on that. And like I was saying, in the spring and fall camp, we went more live stuff than we've ever done. And, starting to pay off. I guess as far as the red zone, what are the things you guys can work on from now to next Saturday in order to try to improve that? Yeah, I, th I think it's just overall everything. You know, we've always uh, really prided ourselves in being able to run the football in once you once you get down there. And so um, we got to do a better job of that. Okay. Anything else? Wow. All right. <laughs>